Hello everyone, we will continue the topic string comparison operators and in the previous videos, so far we finished our first four string comparison operators. Now before we move on to our next string comparison operator, I want to mention two things. Suppose at two to three places, rather than using the word operator, by mistake, I told the word operation. So you can ignore that word. That word is operator itself. Now, second thing, when I covered the string operation CA, I covered clearly and at the last, by mistake, using the word NA, I use the word CN, okay? Because I told in the next video, we will cover CN. At that point, I need to tell, I will cover NA. This is anyways, you can ignore these two things. It will not impact anywhere. Now we will move on to our next string comparison operator. That is CS. What CS stands for? CS stands for contains string. Now, if I will go for the example, V1, CS, V2. It means if V1 contains the string V2, we will get a true result. If V1 contains the string V2. Now, if V1 does not contain the string V2, we will get a false result. Now, so far, whatever the string comparison operators we covered, they, they, they are taking case sensitiveness into consideration. Now, this string comparison operator will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. Now, if we are getting a true result, this system variable psi fdpos will give the offset or position of first character of v2 which is matching in v1. It will give the offset of first character of v2 which is matching in v1. If we are getting a false result, then it will return the length of V1. Now, the first important thing, anyways, in the next video, I will compare it to CO and CO, CO and CA. But at this point of time, you can simply think, I'm not talking about now individual characters. I'm talking about complete string now, complete string. Yes, we know string is a collection of characters. If you think, if you understand in case of C, O and C, A, we, I told, yes, V1 only contains the characters which are in V2. V1 contains at least one character which is in V2. Now I'm talking about complete string, complete string. Now, string is a collection of characters. Anyways, in the next video, whenever I will compare it to CO and CA, you will understand fully. But at this point of time, we will see the practical of CS. Now, I will do the practical. I will comment this. And now we will do the practical of CS. Contains string. Suppose I am saying LV underscore string 1. Suppose length I am taking 30. Type C value. Suppose I am writing system application product. Now I am taking string V2, string 2. Suppose I am saying length is 10, type C, value. Suppose I am writing system. Now I will write if LV underscore string 1, CS. 
contains string lv underscore string to I will go for write statement. I will write the system variable. And now in the else part, I will write this system variable. I will go for end if. We are checking for complete string, complete string. Now we will see. What is your string one? It is system application product. What is our string two? It is system, system. If string one contains the string two, yes. Now, if you see this string is into this particular string, yes. V1 contains the string V2, yes. So we will get a true result. So if I will put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode. Now we will go for desktop three. And now we will see. This is our string one and this is our string two. Is string one contains the string V2? Yes, it is containing. Now you can see this if condition is true. And we got the first, we got the offset of first matching character of V2. First matching character of V2. I am talking about V2 now, second string. Because in the previous string operations, we are talking about string one. Now I'm talking about string two. Offset of first character of V2, string two, which is in string one. Now you can see zero because this is the first matching character, first matching character. Now I will simply, simply execute. Now suppose we will go for false case now. Suppose we are searching for a string, suppose welcome. So now we will see the false result. Now the string one is system application product and we are looking for welcome. Is string one contains the string V2? No. Now I will simply, simply execute and we will see the result. Now, if we will see, this is our string one and this is our string two. Now I'm executing, I'm doing F6. Now you can see system went to else part and psi FTPOS will give the length of string one, will give the length of string one. And what is the length of string one? It is 30. So it is our false result. Now, now this string comparison operator will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. Suppose I am just going, suppose I'm writing, okay, I will log in again, system logged out. Now we will see the case sensitiveness. Now I will simply, simply look for system. Suppose I'm looking for system. Now you can see here S in capital, but here I am putting S in small. But this string comparison operator will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. So it will give that true result. But if you see in case of other string comparison operators, which we covered, they are taking case sensitiveness into consideration. Anyways, in the next video, we will see the full comparison. Now I'm running this. 
our string one is system application product. This is our system application product. We are looking for system, but here S in capital and here S in small. But this string comparison operator is not taking case sensitiveness into consideration. Yes, we will get a true result. And you can see this if condition is true and we are getting the offset of first matching character of V2. So this S is matching with this particular S. And what is the offset or length offset or position, sorry, offset or position or of, of first matching character of V2? It is Z. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we start with our next string comparison operator that is CS. CS means contains string. The first important part, now I'm talking about string string. In all the previous string operation, I talked about characters, individual characters. Now I'm talking about complete string. Yes, we know string is a collection of character. So we are checking for complete string. We are checking for complete string. We are not checking for individual characters. Now, if, if we are writing V1 contains string V2, then if first string contains the second string, we will get a true result. If first string does not have the second string, we will get a false result. This string comparison operator is not taking case sensitiveness into consideration. If we have a true result, this system variable will give the offset or position of first matching character of second string, which is in which is matching with the first matching character of second string, which is available in first string. Now, after that, if we are not getting a, if we are getting a false result, the system variable will give the length of the first string. Then we saw the practical for the true result. We saw the practical of the false result. Then we saw the case sensitiveness also into consideration. In the next video, I will compare CS with CO and CA. And then I will show you, yes, because you will understand how these string comparison operators taking individual characters into consideration. But this string comparison operator is taking the full string into consideration. So we will see in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.